Hey guys, this is Jamie again from Seven Stands Farm. As, as you can see behind me, I've got six young bucks in the uh, goat toad on the back of the truck. And we're headed to, uh, we're headed to take these to market. <clears throat> so today's video is gonna be about a club that I'm a member of. And I'm a member of the New River Valley Sheep and Goat Club. It's more, it's a club. We do a lot of education. We're about 200 members strong. And what our club does is not only do we educate each other, not only do we do outreach to help, uh, to help people understand uh, farming, goat farming and sheep farming, but we also share as a co-op in the transport of our animals. I've only got six animals, so it wouldn't be feasible for me to transport them all the way to New Holland in Pennsylvania, which is the second best goat and sheep market in the United States, Texas being the first. But with this club, I will be able to take my animals. I pay a couple dollars a fee per head, and that goes for a club tag. And that club tag uh, represents, of course, our New River Valley Sheep and Goat Club. The buyers in Pennsylvania now have recognized the green tag, have talked with some club members that go up and stay with their animals over the weekend and feed and water, make sure they don't have a lot of shrinkage. So the prices for our club has actually gone up. The great thing about the co-op is that we share in a transport to New Holland. New Holland would not be feasible for me to take six small 30 pound, 40 pound goats to that sale. But with 200 members, sheep and goat uh, raisers together, we all meet at one large farm. There's a farmer in Virginia that has a large barn and a large loading area. all meet there, we unload, we tag our animals with a club tag. Um, but each one of our animals gets a distinct mark for our farm. See, this is harder to do. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have any, it's not bad. All right, we got it. And then those animals are put on a trailer together. We'll haul anything from, you know, a gooseneck trailer with, I guess, 70 to 100 animals we pay to purchase. And it has been in times past where, you know, they've sent out one to two tractor and trailer loads of animals, sheep and goats. So it really does help the small farmer when everybody comes together and co-ops together, you're able to get bigger things done when there's lots of small farmers working together. I'm really appreciative of this co-op. I've got to go to some classes that they have. Um, for you guys that are in sheep and wool, the club has went together and bought a wool baler so that you're able to bale your wool and get a higher price for it. So if you're interested and live close to the Virginia area, New River Valley Sheep and Goat Club, they have a great website, gives a market report. There's a sale page there if you're looking for anything in the sheep and goat world. If you don't live close to Virginia or North Carolina or close enough to join this club, I would highly recommend you trying to find a co-op of your own if you're a small grower. This has really increased my prices uh, you know, the national average now for goats is 350, even 450. And I've noticed that in Texas over the last week, they're getting $5 a pound for goats. My local sales are not getting that, but because of the co-op, I'm allowed to group with them and send my animals for a fee that I can afford to uh, a market like New Holland, Pennsylvania and make really good uh, profit off of my goats. So hang out with us. I'll show you some pictures of us unloading goats, kind of how it loads. I'll show you the truck. We'll talk to a few members, let you kind of see how everything functions up there. All right, see you in a minute.
Okay, so as you can tell, we just arrived here at the uh, offloading site. We got a tractor and trailer loading, probably about 15th or 20th in line to get unloaded, and there's still people coming in. So I'll keep you updated. This is New River Valley Sheep and Goat Club unloading for the weekend sale at New Holland. See, this is harder to do. Mm -hmm. Well, if you don't have any, it's not a thing. All right, we got it. How's it going? Pretty good. Putting some tags in their ears. All right. What kind do you have? These are Jacobs. Jacobs. Sheep? Yes. Right? <laughs> yeah. So is there a difference in the horns makes, means male and female? No. Female, well, yes. Side, size of the horns. Okay. Males will be bigger, okay. but females can have two to six horns as well. Okay. So uh, females can have all the same variety, same shape, same everything that you see here. They're just going to be smaller. Okay. Does that make them more? <laughs> the more even and pr like if I was, if I've sold a ram for twelve hundred dollars to a hunting ranch out in Texas. It's not register. Uh oh. Not register. <laughs> Good catch! Good job! <laughs> he knows where he's going, he's Jamie, my YouTube channel Seven Stands Farm, and I've been in the club about three years. So for me, the club helps because I'm a smaller breeder. Does that help you too? Absolutely. We have probably like 10 to 12 breeds at a time. Okay. Yeah. Right. So we pretty much we we're trying to do some direct marketing, but this honestly is easier. Yeah, I don't have to spend time at the farmers market. There. I like the fact that the sale folks have um, they found the market. Yeah. The exactly. lamb, and I don't have to worry about finding it. Right. And the club, I mean, I could never, and you're probably the same way, it wouldn't be economical to haul four sheep to Pennsylvania. Exactly. But to pay that little bit to haul, yeah. bill, you know, for a whole club is really minimal in comparison. Absolutely. Anything else you'd like to say about the club? Uh, no, except I've been a member for at least three or four years. Awesome. Um, yeah, we really appreciate it. Also connecting with other sheep. Yeah. about to those animals so that when they go through the sale the buyers will know that they come from New River Valley Sheep and Goat Club. Helps get a little bit better price on them as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here now because it's about nine o'clock. We still not unloaded. I'm afraid it'll be dark before we get up there to get it. It'll definitely be dark before we get home. But uh, I'll put all this together and, and you can see 
how the club works. But I just wanted you to get a look at how being a member of a co-op works in New River Valley. Sheep and Goat Club is a great co-op. If you're interested in it, look it up online. It's got a good website, good information. And being a member of the co-op allows the little grower to be able to get the good prices and work together and get their animals to the, to the market where the large growers get the best prices from. So co-op, it's the way to go. Uh, as always guys, give us a thumbs up if you enjoy this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Go down and subscribe if you haven't. As always, we'll do it all again tomorrow.